we've got an E46 318 here with uh, subframe damage, cracked floor, and just wanted to show what we're gonna, what we're seeing with this underneath. And yes, it is a, a 318, believe it or not. Under the E46 318 now, just a 1.916 valve E46 chassis with exactly the same rear axle carrier panel as all the E46 range and we've got the typical hairline crack in on the fold of the floor next to the left rear subframe mount so that's the standard one there but this one's a 1999 model year when the floors were slightly different just before they changed in February 2000 I'll try and add a picture to this video here So in February 2000, they had the additional spot welds up there in four four places. One there, one there, and then another two on the other side. And the same on the other side, like you've just seen in the picture. So these earlier floors break out in a completely different way. You still get the hairline cracks there, but you also get the total failure of where the threaded receiver inside the, the subframe, what well, the rear axle carrier panel section of the floor, actually uh, breaks away because it's not got spot welds holding it here and here it's allowing it to jump and move more and what that does is actually cracks the floor on the other side of the subframe mount. Post February 2000 cars like all M3s um, don't get this type of problem on this side because the, the mount is held additionally here and here and there and there with spot welds that stops the mount going so so violently so it doesn't crack this side you always just get that crack around that left rear next to the left rear subframe mount. So anyway, what we're trying to do here is show you that this uh, is a 318. It's just on the borderline of breaking out because you can see the cracks. Um, got a little bit of corrosion in there. They're fairly, fairly good size, one there, one there. That one looks like it'll fold down eventually. That one looks like it's got a crack going in towards the bush, which would open out that way. And I think there's another one, it's hard to show you, just around the top front edge of that bush. So we've got Luke in the car. And, uh, and we're going to do going to do a few tests where we try and open up this crack to see what it takes. Uh, so we've got the handbrake applied, and we're going to be in first gear, um, trying to pull away um, and fairly aggressively. And just remember that this is our car. This is one we've bought. It's not a customer's. We've bought this for testing, destruction, whatever you want to call it. So um, even if it is a little bit violent, it has no reflection on. On anything, anything bad. It's just for testing. This is what happens to the energy in reverse. And this is the opposite energy in first gear. So that's just a few tests in first gear and reverse probably I don't know 10 to 15 uh, clutch drops in each uh, in each first and reverse gear and you can see it's opened up already because those were flat 
before we started the video we made sure that they were flat. They're obviously quite quite soft, you can push it. That's a snap-on pick and uh, that measures at 2.4 mil thickness and that easily goes in so that's, that's a good nearly 3 mil movement there just by a couple of um, clutch drops and obviously you think if that was driving as well out in the real world for weeks or months continuously that, that isn't going to take a huge amount of time to actually um, actually break open.